Allahu Akbar. This devil. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. George Bush. Oh, the nerve of Mr. Bush. Yes. Talking about the axis of evil. Check it out. Nothing but controversy, confusion, and disruption since Mr. Bush set his feet in 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. It's stolen. It's Nothing but confusion. Can't you see what's going on? Check it out. Clear. He stole the election. Check it out. Outright stole the election. The masses of the people voted for uh, Al Gore. I mean, Al Gore. But Mr. Bush is in the White House. Yes. He was not elected by the people. He was selected by a group of electoral college delegates. But that's baby knowledge. He stole the election. Because he's sitting in a seat of government that is not legitimate. That's right. Come on. He's sitting in a seat of government that derived its power from the theft of the land from the original uh, so-called Indian, the red man of this land. That's right. That's it. So we don't, we just say he stole it. We say he stole that was all, stole that which was already stolen. That's right. The United States government. Right. Even if he was elected fairly, he still would be illegitimate. That's right. Come on. For the whole uh, 2,000 by 3,000 miles of America has been stolen That's right. from the original people of this land. Right. September 11 breaks out as soon as Mr. Bush gets in office. Rejects the UN conference on racism, rejects the proclamation, the declarations, and that which was decided at the UN conference on racism on September 7th, September 8th, September 11th. Breaks out three days later. I asked you, was that an accident? Mm -hmm. Three days later, after they arrogantly walked out of the UN conference on race in Durban, South Africa, rejected reparations for African people, rejected the proclamations condemning Zionism. Three days later, September 11 goes down. I ask you, is there any connection? Yes, sir. Now it's Mr. Bush, this devil. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. It's talking about nuclear war openly. Right. He's talking about nuclear war openly and targeting nuclear weapons on peaceful and righteous people who don't even have weapons. Mm -hmm. yes. He's saying now he has a shadow government. Mm -hmm. And this shadow government is prepared to take the place of this government in case of a nuclear catastrophe. Does he know something you and I don't know? Check it out. Of course, of course he has access to information that you and I will never receive. For the information we receive is prayer and precious, and probably rare and precious. Mm -hmm. Shadow government, nuclear war, 911, making war. He says he wants. He's talking about the axis of evil. Mm -hmm. The nerve of him to call uh, Saddam Hussein and the Iraqi people the axis of evil. Mm -hmm. The nerve of this demon to call uh, the Iranian. North Korean people, good people, the axis of evil, mm -hmm. with the blood dripping from the gate of 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, right. yes. with the blood dripping from the doorways and Langley of CIA headquarters, yes, sir. Yes. with the blood dripping from the righteous from these institutions of government, Congress, Senate, White House, and the Pentagon, the nerve of this battle. Right. That's right. Come on. To brand nations of the earth under the axis of evil. Mm -hmm. When he himself and his government represent the very apex of evil. That's right. Right. Not just the axis of evil, yeah. that, which upon, that which upon evil turns. Mm -hmm. But this man and his government represent the very apex of evil. It represents the very pinnacle of that which evil can be measured or described by. That's right. When you do evil, you cannot match the evil of this man because you do not have the power to multiply your evil act uh, with economic and military force to negatively and adversely affect the lives of the people. Right. Yes. I don't care how bad you are, you cannot outdo Bush. That's right. Come on. Well, Bush has an armada of evil to do his evil with. When he says the axis of evil, policy changes on the earth. Right. Yes. When he proclaims the axis of evil, it becomes a part of the political culture of America. Yes. It becomes a term of usage, and it has it has value. It's wrong. It's wrong as hell, but it has weight. It has value. The apex of evil. 
talking about <laughs> the axis of evil. Let's continue on. Yes, sir. And we'll move quickly. 